the moment it's really gonna scare it. Try to beat my high score, but I fight forward despite lawyers and I for All right, I'm back. my type's warrior. Nevertheless, I inherit a mess of big floor speed. Good old Tech Nine, everybody. Hey, I'm finally here. Sorry about. That. Sorry, I'm late. Uh, I've been doing some other stuff, stuff that uh, it's probably not important to you. So I'm just gonna keep it quiet as such. Anyway, right now I'm just setting up uh, Nino Cooney, and uh, while I'm at it, I'm probably gonna call Teets. Hey, what's up? And he's probably setting up his mic. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm yeah. like, wait a minute, who, who am I talking to? I'm like, oh, I'm listening to your stream. I'm like, what the fuck? How are you talking to me two times? Ah! Yeah, I, I had to restart the stream a little bit just because of... Uh, like, I had to restart the stream because... Like, I had to set up my mic to be caught on the OBS. But I had to restart the stream in order for it to catch. Oh, bullshit. I know, I'm sorry. Please. Say OBS. Uh, open broadcaster <laughs> software. That's the thing I, I used to stream this. I know, I'm just saying, oh, bullshit. <laughs> oh, bullshit. Anyway, I'm just taking that stuff right there. And I should take that off before it starts slowing down my shit. And there we go. I start. <laughs> slowing down your shit? That's a slow ass turd coming out of your ass. <laughs> Why the hell not? Anyway, is there people in the stream right now? Or on the chat? You know what's funny? There was like seven people, six people here, and then once you started, like, four people just disappeared. <laughs> uh, no, it's probably because, like, I restarted the stream. You're like, oh, fuck this. I'm out. I'm out. No, no. No with this. <laughs> All right, so we got BB Guy 9 here, and Per Shadow 209. How's it going? The Nuclear Flame, and... Our good old buddy and friend and pal and person, Sire Goku. Hey, Sire, how's it going? I don't even know. Shit. Should I get him in on the chat while I'm at it? Wouldn't that lag you more? Man, honestly, it all depends. We oh, could try. You, dude. We could try. Hang on. You, dude. I'm going to call him for the shits and giggles. So he brings shits and giggles? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sire. Oh God. Hey, what's up? Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, for I'm once. Bravely default and getting my ass kicked. Well, I'm gonna get my ass kicked by the white bitch. I mean, the white witch. Oh, you have such an easier time in this game than in bravely default. You have no idea. <laughs> I'll take your word for it. I haven't even played it other than the demo. It's a fun game, but good God. <laughs> it expects you to be perfect. Fuck. <laughs> <coughs> Jesus. Yeah, sorry I haven't been able to watch this stream the last two nights. You know, having actual work. Yeah. Two days a week. Yeah. It gets in the way. Yeah, with me, I was kind of late to this one because... Uh, I'll just make it a long story short. I took uh, one of my friends out for a couple drinks because... I don't know, something happened recently, so I'm all like, I'll take you out for a drink. And then, long story short, I got showed up like 40 minutes later than I wanted to. <laughs> yeah, I kind of noticed that. Eh, all you have to know is that I've, I, I, I got two beers in me. <laughs> Again. Yeah. Well, I haven't drank in the last two streams. That was an easy innuendo, dude. <laughs> and I resisted well. Shifty eyes. I see what you did there, tits. <laughs> I, I'm glad I didn't see what you did there. <laughs> <laughs> well, all I said is I have two beers inside of me. See, this is one of yes. the reasons. See, this is one of like the four games that I'd actually have on my PS3 if I if I had one. <laughs> if I had one. Because I had to buy a. I bought a 360, and then a year later, there's like a whole bunch of shit for PS3 that I want, and I'm like, damn it. Okay, why am I tripping balls? Why am I tripping balls now? It's too late, and I jumped into the PS. I jumped into the 360 console too late. By that point, PS3 was already better. 
<laughs> wow, what an asshole. <laughs> it's like, you've always been alone. Ah, fuck. <laughs> Hello, BD guy 9 I don't know who you are. <laughs> you guys are going to be my eyes and ears for the chat. Mostly the eyes. Well, I'm in the process of playing vertically to fall at the what? same time. As this. You're going to be ears for the chat between the two of us. You're going to be the eyes for the Twitch chat. But I, my eyes are okay. fixed on my 3DS as I get my ass handed to me multiple times and bravely default. <laughs> uh, I'll just be sitting here watching you play then. Yes. I'm watching. I From 20 seconds in the past. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, Sire, it's going to be... What you're, what you're going to be seeing on the Twitch uh, stream, it's going to be 20 seconds behind from what I see. So I'm going to be like, all right, watching like 20 seconds, and then you're going to see what I'm like, what I'm talking oh, about. Oh, that's what happens with lag. It kind of does that. Now, that's that's what happens with upload so speed. What, so how... So considering the only other JRPG most people know you for playing is Tales of... Would you rank this game no. as <laughs> as high as a Tales I think game he's, I think for you? Paper Mario counts. Well, tits, shit's about to go down. <laughs> oh, logic! Man, I really, ho you, logic. I really do hope you don't game? die. What? What? Well, what would you rate this game like compared to say like Paper Mario or Tales in general? <laughs> <sighs> Tits, Let, I say don't answer that until you finish the game. Since yeah. It's practically done. Yeah, I'm not going to say anything until I beat the White Witch. Also, I kind of... I, reali I realized it last night when... Uh, I don't know. Because I think... I'm assuming that Cassiopeia and P are practically the same people only times apart. Um, You're going to find out right now. Or do you just want me to tell you? Well, I don't I'm just making that assumption, but based on that assumption, I kind of get why it, she's called P, because the P from Casio P, uh, uh. Oh, shut up. Like, you're going to find out right now as soon as you, you yeah. know, fight her. Do you want to find out that way or do you want me to tell you? I'll find out. Shut the fuck up, white witch. So... <laughs> you know shit. You don't know shit. You a wigger. You a wigger with. It's like peace. Like it's wrong. It's wrong. And then white witches gets all pissed off. Shut the fuck up. I'm like, damn. <laughs> First thing I see on the game is the final boss. This is the best of ideas. <laughs> Dang right. <laughs> it says the best of ideas. This is the worst of ideas. <laughs> it was the best of ideas. It was the blurst of ideas. <laughs> <laughs> but don't you want to win a blurdle? Welcome back, 8-bit guy 9. <laughs> Alright. Let's see who, how my mic oh, can handle 63. her. You might get owned. You're only level 63. <laughs> see, tits! I could have used another one. <laughs> I could have used another to cult to cult. <laughs> Man, Sire doesn't even know what he's talking about. You're over-leveled. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so she's resistant against physical attacks, from what I could tell. Of course um, I don't know what I'm talking about. I've never actually played the game before. I don't know if you noticed when you're willing on her, but don't you see that barrier? Yeah, I'm kind of noticing it. Yeah. And I feel white, white which is power from over by here. Yes, BB guy 9 what do you want? What are you saying hey guys for? What, what, uh, I don't know. Hey guys! <laughs> hey guys, what if you cool like Cloud from Final Fantasy was in Brawl? <laughs> oh yeah, Logic, once you, do, once you finish this game, you have to actually, you know, start playing, um... Other games? Eternal Sonata. <laughs> oh, god damn it! I forgot I had that game in the first place. <laughs> you Eternal Sonata like two years ago and you haven't even touched it. You're right. Yes! Yes, BB Guy 9, big tits are re relevant. <laughs> They're always relevant. Always. <laughs> always. You can never They're defy relevant. it. There's... And... so relevant I had to, like, interrupt Sire. <laughs> <laughs> and... You're interrupting me, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> me always interrupt you? Oh, come on. You don't want to bring that up. <laughs> <laughs> I, 
Oh, hey, Swain actually used that one skill to revive Esther. Thank God! You mean for <laughs> yeah, once the I game actually worked up. the way it was supposed to? <laughs> Sire, you have no idea, but the AI of the other party members... Actually, I do, because I've been watching the videos you've been uploading. Not only that, but uh, if, uh, if you've also been watching uh, Nintendo too. Caprice... Uh, yeah, it's much, much worse than what you've been seeing. Because we've been controlling the AI for the most part. Like, it's not bad, it's just... Extremely what annoying. Are you, what are you thinking? <laughs> is it Symphonia 2 levels of broken? Oh, no. Symphonia 2 is so godly compared to the AI in this game. Or at least the party Symphonia AI. 2 is... Symphonia 2 is so broken, it's as if Asbel was controlling it. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> But yeah, like the AI in this game, they will waste every Nobody single bit of. The AI will waste Nobody every bit. Of... Hey, sire, 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 sire. The AI, the party AI in this game is extremely wasteful. They will waste all of their MP, and then you're gonna be wondering why aren't they attacking? Oh right, they're out of MP, which they kind of need to attack. Symphonia 1 did that it's for me all the damn fair. time. Yeah, but at least then you could actually see their MP or TP. It doesn't it's, change the fact that, like, oh, that's rain, you know, it's that's just Esther. every turn and use up oh, all your orange juice. Yeah, it's, it's true. <laughs> Esther, Esther's the big, the big, big problem with this game. Here, Swain, thing, Swain, like, he doesn't use that much MP. I've never played this game. Yeah, so that, that's why I'm trying to explain it. For it. Because, oh god, Esther, she will use up, like, if you take even a scratch damage, next thing you know, she's using the best healing spell in the game, and it's just like, fuck, why are you even, why are you even here, Esther? What, what the f- exactly. <laughs> Swain's your bro. Swain's the bro. <laughs> He's more uh, bro geez. than Drippy. <laughs> well, see... Um, I just want to bring up what BB guy says. Like, let's go kill the fucking white witch. Um, I I I, just, I need to throw up some background story, real quick for those who aren't familiar with Nino Kuni. So I guess Sire would enjoy this. This is gonna be a kind of a spoiler, mm -hmm. but I'll try to summarize it without spoiling as much as I can. Essentially, you killed your mom. You stupid shit. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely put. <laughs> and now you're about right. <laughs> and now you're trying to save her by crossing to the other world. But turns out, in the other world, that shit's also getting fucked over by a dark, evil wizard named Shadar. And, I don't want to spoil that, but eventually, Shadar's like, yeah, it's not my fault, it's the White Witch's fault. And then you realize, oh, it's hey, a he and the White Witch have a connection. Let me finish, Sire. Yeah, Sire, don't interrupt, I please. Second, okay. I have to inter interrupt you for a second, Opic. Okay. It's a JRPG. The main villain is never the very first person you meet. And Sire, let him finish. Let him finish. Please, let him finish. It's a lot more than that. You can't just summarize every JRPG as, it's a JRPG, because of course it's a JRPG. Hence JRPG. <laughs> yes. You're right, I'm sorry, go ahead. <laughs> well, okay, uh, I'm going to answer push out of that a bit, but basically, I'm just trying not to spoil much, because this is actually a really nice story, and even the characters are nice, as much as some of them can be annoying in AI and what they do. For example, while Swain is awesome as an AI and a combatant in battle, I really don't like his character because he's kind of an annoying person, but... But Esther is pretty awesome. <laughs> but anyways... Eventually, later in the story, uh, or in the whole story of the game, there's this ghost little girl named Ghost Girl named P, who's been helping Oliver, and only Oliver can see and hear her. But eventually, everyone can see her now because the White Witches have been exposed and they turn out to have a connection. Tits is going to find out what their connection is once he beats her. And to answer BB Guy 9, yeah, let's just say we don't want to kill the White Witch. At least not yet. Because she's the remedy for the Dark Crystal she's been leaving out everywhere in... Uh, Cassiopeia, stop I slapping think. my shit! Oh, I see. It's one of those I need to stop her but I can't scenarios. Interesting. Something like yeah. that. Yeah. There's more to her than like you know that you have explain. to. Jesus Christ, she is just slapping my shit all over the place. Second win, second uh, win, second win. 
And to answer Per Shadow 209, um, since I'm the only one who's here who's finished, you know, Cooney. <laughs> Amazingly, before Tits, even though he's the reason I started playing it. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit, you left at 2 HP like 20 seconds well, ago. You, yeah. You, you know logic. He starts the game and then he has too many other things to do and forgets to go back to it for about a, a year and then goes, oh shit, that's right, I was playing this game before, wasn't I? <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunate for him, Not I'm one your of those fault people that you have other things to do in your life, logic. <laughs> Not your fault that you have more important things to do than just play video games all day. <laughs> yeah, I wish I could only play video games all day. <laughs> no, you have more important things to do, like playing other video games. Yes. <laughs> I see what you did there. Anyways, I just want to answer Per Shadow 209 that uh, you can shit. say any character that comes out is out there for moral support, which is true because Oliver does get a lot of moral support. God but damn it. Even the other characters you interact with. <laughs> <Oliver interacts with. laughs> the way I beat Cassiope. I'm assuming Cassiopeia has multiple forms, but like Oliver just dies, I switch over to Esther. And then. <laughs> and <laughs> you got me by Esther. <laughs> you got me by an Esther. Uh, but yeah, um, Esther's not there just for more support. I mean, Swain's there too, so is Drippy, so is P. Everyone's there for more support for each other. It's one of those friendship games. But it kind of works Which in this is, game. Uh... Well, who, that's who, another... Uh... That's a... The studio... Go ahead. Studio Ghibli. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I know it's usually always Ghibli. do the same story. And, and, and that's the... Like, and that... That's... I won't even say it's a stereotype. It's just... It's the... It's the style of story is the just... Power of friendship saves the world thing that's just a style of storytelling <laughs> it may get repetitive and it may become repetitive and obnoxious at times but it's at least you know understandable <laughs> before i expand on that sorry because that's something i do want to expand on um good luck with that right? tits because <laughs> oh yeah i can already tell <laughs> this... i i honestly want to she wasn't tough but she wasn't tough because I, def I knew when to defend eventually. And, um, BB Guy also asked, what's your Skype uh, to you, Tits? So, BB. Uh, if you want to... Yeah, Actually, I'm kind of I'm kind of curious. Is is your Skype thing Charles Step? Because we've been getting this one guy, and we have no idea who the fuck he even is. <laughs> well, we'll find out in 20 seconds from now. Yeah. To expand on what Sire said, yeah... You know, eventually, almost every story has been told at this point. It's kind of hard to find originality, but it's how it's told and who's there in the story and how it develops is what's the fun part. And uh, Studio Ghibli, was it? Yeah, the guys who made yeah. the art style, pretty much, along other things. Yeah. They, their story is eventually essentially the same in almost every other movie, but it's told a little bit differently. And <laughs> since I don't really watch, there's, not, there's nothing wrong with the, stuff. There's nothing wrong with the story being. The, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I've never said there was a problem with the story being like, this being like, predictable and stuff. It's perfectly fine if the story works. It works. There's nothing inherently wrong with it. <laughs> I mean, I'll use Tails. Oh, Trippy. Yeah. Example: ninety percent of those. <laughs> 90% of Tails games have the same kind of damn story. <laughs> Drippy, are you fucking serious? You're still butting in even now. Yeah, I always got tired of Drippy when he does that. It's like, I was already doing it, dude. <laughs> but yeah, um, BB guy is that person who's been trying to add you guys in uh, on uh, Skype. Oh, so you're a child step. Why didn't you even bother me? Like, I'm not mad or anything that you were trying to add me. I'm just like... I honestly had no fucking idea who you were. So I'm like, yeah, I'm not adding you. So I blocked you and denied you. So sorry about that, but you really got to make it known. Because if you try adding us without even letting us know who you are, at the very least, it's, it, it just comes off, well, not creepy, but it's just like it comes off a little off-putting. Yeah, we, we're, we don't want to be jerks or anything. It's more just like, like, hey, we've heard you on this stream we've never spoken to you before and now you're on our skype it's not that we are not that we're against hanging out with you just give us a little bit of a warning that's all you're fine it's perfectly fine it's just you caught us off guard there <laughs> yeah pretty much essentially tr essentially bb guy 9 
Buy him a cup of coffee before you ask him out on a date. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely put. <laughs> Maybe not to that extent. <laughs> nah, yeah, he's like really truly sorry. I'm like, it's all right, dude. Don't take it oh, that bad. Yeah, yeah, we're we're not we're mad. We're we're, really we're not mad or anything. We're just having fun. <laughs> we just would have liked to have a little more forewarning. It's just like, like who the hell is this guy? He's like, I don't I don't know him. Or at the very least, he hasn't made himself known who he really is. Yeah. Because we'll, 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 I'll put it in. I'll put it in this perspective, because because Logic and I know each other from a forum site that we went on a long time ago. If he had just randomly found me on Skype, I probably would have blocked him too, because I would have been like, "Who the hell is this guy?" And Pretty much. You figure out where I am. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying too. So it has nothing to do with you. It's more just we were like, we don't know who you, and we're kind of freaking out for a second. <laughs> but that's enough about that. Let's just keep watching logic get his ass kicked by this what is this thing anyway it's like a lion it's so the monster of what? mana yeah that's uh Cass cassiopeia consumed with her full power of um, dark mana because it because i'm gonna be honest you kind of reminds me of a monster from freaking vesperia <laughs> you, do you mean god to so please do not tell me you mean him yes. oh god yes I do. <laughs> I sound like Kiff. I sound like Kiff. That's like Woody Allen or something, dude. Okay, I'm using a Nostrum. I don't care. I needed that Nostrum. Sits, I know you're not going to play Eternal Sonata, so I'll do you a favor. I'll do you a solid. I'm gonna play Eternal Sonata because that's uh, something I've been wanting to play. I've been wanting yeah, to play it too. I just forget about it. I love Eternal Sonata. It's a great game. <laughs> dude. I've been wanting to play. It. I just honestly forget about it. It's like I haven't even <laughs> opened it from its wrapping. It's that bad. <laughs> it's like oh, I bought it a year ago and it's just sitting there. <laughs> Pretty much. Will you drop a golden glim, please? <laughs> you gotta learn how to defend. God, defend that shit, man. You have to default, dude. Do it. Oh, man, it feels good to have used that Nostrum. Well, on the upside, you yeah. can't really say that you... Well, I can at least say this for your logic. You can't add Bravely Default to your backlog because you don't have it yet. <laughs> yet. I mean, I added, I added yeah. Stick of Truth to my backlog. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty fast, too. <laughs> yeah. And it's on his PC, so you know that's going to take a while. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know them PC gamers. Mm -hmm. So, Tits, you're actually, you're actually doing pretty well for this phase, but I, seeing how you're always getting your ass handed to you once in a while, I think you're going to have trouble in the next final phase. All right. There's usually three phases. I forgot. <laughs> well, there's only three phases with Shadar and White Bitch. <laughs> yeah, I'm just... I know, but usually some bosses have two or three phases. I just had to... For some reason, I was assuming Cassiopeia had two, only two. <laughs> Damn it, not Annihilation! Um, wait, there's... Wait, other bosses had two phases? Uh, well, probably not in this game, but... Uh, oh, at, like, I'm in most RPGs like in that. general, that's what I was talking about. Ah, uh, because I know Shadar is the only one, or the only other one. I mean, if you want to be technical, his uh, stupid, dark, fat heart guy. Oh, yeah, <laughs> that <Oliver>. guy. <laughs> yeah, he... I actually hated him, like, how could you do this to him? How way. could you do this to me? <laughs> BB oh, guy and I want to see it. the most powerful summon tits. Oh, all right, hang on. I'll, I'll show... Kind of do spam, summon... Like, the weakest one already. Well, the yeah, strongest so summon, Howling Blizzard? The way they in, like, normal RPGs, like, you just use them, or is there, like, a... Uh, well, like, uh, uh, it's pretty, like, late into the game is before there, like, you... a requirement? Uh, uh, I don't know how to put it. It's just, like, you just get this one spell that lets you summon previous bosses that you already fought, but you get it relatively well, like, late. Well, well, let me, well, let's just do it the simple way. Is it, like, Final Fantasy, where you just pick it in an item slot, or is it, like, 
tales where you have to, where a certain requirement has to be made for it to work. <laughs> it it's honestly the same as casting a spell in this game, so you just gotta like choose it from a menu. Okay. It it just takes a little time to like spawn it up though. It's not nuclear fame. This is that not makes the sense. final boss. Also, to expand to expand on that, sire. Um, throughout this whole game, you're actually learning new spells through people through helping them out or just you know beating bosses. Well, it's not exclu uh, though. It's not exclusively from side quests, but help doing the side quest does help out a lot. Like such as like if you yeah. do this one side quest, you could get like a spell that makes it so you like could sneak up on enemies like the veil spell, or enemies won't notice you yeah. as easily. Which I never got. Makes sense. I never got it though. <laughs> you also get some other nice nifty spells, uh, like uh, treasure chest, or I think another one was broom. <laughs> Oh yeah, what? oh yeah. That that's honestly just for like story wise. Like you rarely, you've only used them once, if ever, more than that. And more like event too, as well. Yeah. Tits, um, would it be too forward of me to spoil who the summons are? What the later ones? The summons in general. Um. Yeah, you can go for All it. in general. All right, people. So once you get the summon spell, which is like right before the proclaimed main villain all those uh, are actually um golden glim you have fought golden the glim game. golden glim and it's gone and someone took it ass. someone took it son of a bitch it doesn't matter <laughs> you're about to kill Cass. if i were you if i were you i would probably like heal up on mana Eh, I killed her anyway. Though honestly, I think I probably would have benefited it. This is not the final boss. Probably, actually, I wouldn't know. <laughs> oh yeah, like how we won. Go by is it's too small to be the final boss. Usually, final bosses in RP in JRPGs are huge. <laughs> or in RPGs in general, well, I... they're usually huge. I could think of a few that weren't that big. But then, then you have to. I'm just looking, it's just like the it mask depends. came off. It depends right, on the system, I think. Because the final boss in Mario RPG wasn't gigantic, technically. <laughs> oh, shit. Alright, people. Pay attention to this because you guys might want to go grab a drink or something because this is going to be a long cutscene. Well, and by long, I mean like the normal five minutes. Yeah, as for me, I'm going to be attention to this, so, uh, yeah. Yeah, I'll try not to talk so I don't, you know, talk over it. Same here. Because this is going to explain a lot for you. I'm busy trying to beat this boss and <laughs> anyway, so. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to mute my mic until we actually get to this. King Paco approves of the mic milking with the baking. I don't know if you heard that. It's never perfect. It's always changing. Meetings, farewells. So for anyone who has questions who just want to ask in general about the game, most likely because I can answer that. I know Tits can too. Or just want to just bring up a topic while this happens. Or if you're curious why this is happening, yeah, sure. I can answer that for you if you don't care about spoilers. <laughs> Are you going to play this game, sir? Oh, I will once I actually get a PS3. It's one of the games I want to get for my PS3. <laughs> well, since I'm talking to you now and I've already seen this and you're playing it right default, are you going to get Lords of Shadow 2? Uh, Lords of Shadow. Lords of Shadow for the Xbox 360 since you've been saying you don't have much to do <laughs> on your 360. Maybe. I, I really don't know. <laughs> I, I, because I thinking, can't like, I just get that, that for the PS3? The yeah, yeah could not just get that PS3? But then so you have that, to get that's the PS3. other thing. It's like every game that's on the 360 right now, with the exception to like Tales of Asperia, is already on the PS3. So why have a PS? So why have a 360 anymore? <laughs> and um, that was per that was intent. That was complete. That was completely my fault because at the time, bopping in just to say da da da. <laughs> I know you're a I am Queen Cassiopeia. Um, but sorry. I mean, I didn't want any of those new consoles other than a Wii at the time because, and then when even what like we even when I wanted a Wii, I was like, this is just me because I'm jaded with Nintendo games. Like, why do I want to play the same game again that they've been pushing off since the Super Nintendo? 
But other than that, I'm just like, uh, well, I'll just wait to see what comes out three years from now. And that's when I got my Wii and PS3, right before they were about to die. So, so your mentality is to wait until the last possible moment to buy a new system when the superior systems have already been out for two years? <laughs> yeah, my mentality is buy the consoles when they're cheap. Buy them when they're cheap. You already know what game's going to be good. Their library is pretty much done. And you don't have to pay that much for the game itself because they're going to be so cheap. Well, that's what I did with my 360, and then I just realized, eh. I realized after I got it too late, they're like, I bought this 360 for two games, one of which I could already get on a PS3 anyway, so I just wasted my money. <laughs> this guy's, freak this guy's kind of freaking me out. <laughs> I bought it for Tales of Vesperia and Eternal Sonata, and then realized Eternal Sonata was on the PS3, and I'm like, fuck. Okay! That was a little bit rare to what the fuck is what the uh, uh, councils are evil, everybody. In case you didn't, in case you never knew that. Okay, and there's four satellites. Can, can I can I just use even star? Yeah, this is what I meant by you're gonna need AOE spells because they don't they're like lava bits. Yeah. Bits. But except they're much more stronger and annoying. Yeah, <laughs> I could I got already tell. <laughs> you're gonna get your ass headed to you, so please, for the love of God. Eel. Nevers. Alright, so now that uh, the story has been unfolded, it turns out P is a part of Cassiopeia, who has been salvaged from her father, and the reason she is called P is because Cassiope that was Cassiopeia's pet name from her father when she was little. Yep. Oh, okay. And, now, and now she has been pure. Yeah, pretty much. And now she's been purified, and it turns out the council and the bird that the witches had was a figment of her, you know, imagination manifested through mana. But the darkness within within that council, council, which the council itself was also manipulating P as the young child as she grew up, which was the downfall of the kingdom of the wizard king and her own kingdom, which plummeted that world into some monsters and anarchy. Can't believe I actually summarized that pretty well. Um, yeah, they've manifested again through Cassiopeia's mindset and now you're like you know what? fuck you guys we're the actual white witch together we're gonna fuck you guys up and take the world over because we're freaking power hungry and shit which is a nice twist on its own because you really actually thought the white witch would yeah when be free yeah <laughs> i think i summed it up pretty well then. That is... yeah <laughs> god damn this boss yeah, is such a bastard <laughs> <laughs> you're talking about the one on here right okay, now i'm gonna confuse people cause... No, Bravely Default. No, oh, Bravely Default. Oh, alright. I was like, okay. Because I already killed two of the satellites just now. As soon as I finished saying that, I'm like, oh great, now everyone's going to get confused as to what I'm talking about. Because <laughs> you're doing perfectly fine. I'm the one that's getting one-shotted by every damn thing in this thing. So, well, so far I've taken out two out of the satellites. <laughs> when I say use AO... Okay. You want to know my strategy, or you want to develop it yourself, or you want me to just be keep quiet on that? I'll try my best. Okay, I'll keep quiet on that. Um, for those who are curious, how much 400 damage is? It's a lot in this game. 500 is even even more. Yeah, since it's over leveled. <laughs> Not to mention, I have that Jack the Giant Killer spell, the trick thingy, about whatever the fuck. Dude, I had it too, and I'm glad I did. <laughs> yeah, you'd have been killed like nobody's business. No, I did die a lot. Like, I think in that battle I died like six times, uh, collectively with every character. Jesus. Swain just, Swain just kept us up. <laughs> but um, essentially, 450 damage in Tales of or JRPG uh, numbers is like four more extra zeros. So this is essentially doing like 4.5 million damage. Eh. Well, most most RPGs the damage cap is 9,999. <laughs> Except Tails. Yeah, that's what I was No, usually Tails to. has just... Usually Tails caps at 9,999 as well. <laughs> well, some games. Well, that's, well, some that's games, per yeah. hit, I mean. Oh, no, nah, not really. Unless you have, like, the... Oh. Like, unless you have the uh, Fell Arms or the Devil's Arms or whatever. 
of that game, yeah, then yeah, exactly. Because I was gonna say, as long as you, unless there's like some specific thing you're equipped with, you're never gonna hit over ten thousand with one specific attack. You can do over ten thousand with like it... multiple hits, but <laughs> is that based by script Ness. or by just like raw damage alone? I think it's just script. Mm, that's kind of stupid. No, it might actually be raw damage because with with classic JRPGs, the damage cap is usually nine 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 or nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine. <laughs> yeah, this guy does go crazy with numbers too. Most JRPGs oh, go oh, crazy with oh, numbers. Oh, does oh does Gaia goes insane? He can get into like the billions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this guy, you sort of like like. 10,000 10, by the time you like you're at the second like level area. I watched my brother play all used to play both of those games and it's like yeah he got to the point where without even buffing like his guys were doing like 1k worth of damage with normal attacks like god dang it <laughs> regular really attacks numbers. should like Go regular attacks should not be doing over a thousand damage <laughs> maybe we're just hitting that hard like Dragon Ball Z Dragon Ball Z Oh my god, you're moving so fast we can't even follow it. Uh, for like the past whole season. <laughs> <laughs> Take oh, the, the even season. star, you muddy fuckers! <laughs> you're a muddy fucker. <laughs> you fucked my bitch in the ass, you muddy fucker! Thank you, Tech Nine. Japan and I guess some people here just are fascinated with big numbers when it comes to damage. I mean, Maple Story is a culprit too, but that's Koreans. Yeah. Really Surprise. Korea. I'm really happy they're using tiny numbers here. Nuclear Flame seems to be a fan of this guy. Yeah? <laughs> or maybe he's just played it or seen someone play it. <laughs> I'm never gonna I'd watch like anyone's symphony. Re I'd play. like to say the biggest. View, I'd like. I'd like to say the only real reason people like this guy is because of Laharl. If it wasn't for him, people probably wouldn't even like the game. <laughs> the only reason I like. Oh, the reason I played this guy, I didn't even finish it. I didn't go that far. Was because of uh, the trailer music video, which is a band I was into. Uh, it was called Tsunami Bomb. <laughs> we sang a song, Enemy Inside of Me. Oh, thank God uh, someone healed me. Yeah, I, I love that song. <laughs> yeah. Thank God someone healed me because I wasn't going to do it. <laughs> You're going to see that right now. You're like, oh, God, tits, why? God, oh, I see it. What the hell? You're like, uh, dying, but must kill. <laughs> must kill. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Damn, since you were doing this swimmingly well, I don't know. Well, when I fought this boss, it felt like forever, but that's because I was trying to figure out yeah. what to do, how to defend, and everyone kept getting their shit handed to him through the eyes. And I was like, <laughs> you know what? Fuck it. Everyone? Just spam AoE. <laughs> I'll heal us, you guys just spam AoE. <laughs> I'm mostly make, using that's Oliver for the AoE. But that's the lazy way out. <laughs> well, when it come, when I play RPGs, it's because of my MMO, MMO days. I was a healer. <laughs> so, I feel like, just do your shit, I'll keep us healthy. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, that's it. <laughs> oh, you're going to see that right now. And you're probably going to get a little oh, mad. And now, I'm suddenly, now I'm suddenly reminded of Kirby while watching you fight this boss. <laughs> Anything around with a big eye? Yeah. Yeah, you're going to see that oh, right now. Yeah. Saw... Oh, God. You just murdered you? <laughs> <laughs> you just got murdered. Yes, I did. Yeah, chaos can be a bitch. Oh, yeah, I could, I could tell. I didn't, I didn't heal enough, apparently. <laughs> The, really, but really, the more I look at this boss, the more I f feel like he belongs in a Knights game. <laughs> Have fun with that, tits. Have yeah. fun with that. Ah, son of a bitch. I played, well, I played Knights. I sucked at it. <laughs> well, I'm going to skip the cutscenes and go through this boss again. I think you still have your items, right? Yeah, I should still have the items I, u I, did I used up throughout the whole battle. I'm really surprised you didn't use Ward, because I always kept that shit on. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I'll keep that in mind for when I get to the last form, or to the final fight. But yeah, you gotta fight them all three again. It's a gauntlet, but... Yeah, well, it's kind of expected of a final boss. 
Wait, you expect final bosses to be gauntlets? <laughs> well, it's like three phases, and if you die on either one of the phases, you have to start them all over again. That's pretty much what I'm saying. Oh, I see. No, it's not like if you fight one boss, and then you have to fight a separate boss that's like completely irrelevant to it. It's like this, it's practically the same boss, you know, except for the very last one, right, but you know right. what I mean. Like, final bosses and... Final bosses tend to be multi-parts. Yeah, and it's the same person too, kind of like Cassiopeia and the White Witch in general. The Zodiarchy isn't the same person. Well, they it's pretty much made her into the White Witch, so I could consider it the same boss, pretty much. Actually, she made herself into the White Witch on accident. Ha! Oh, uh, did I just spoil you that? <laughs> this reading is sorry. Like, I thought they explained that. Game. There's only one ah, game I played, and that was sorry. Journey to Dreams on the Wii. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> no, oh, no, no, no. Like, oh look, like, Tidy Tears. Like... <laughs> I'm just trying to tell Tits that I did spoil something, but I didn't explain how it led to it. But he was actually partially right, too. <laughs> Oh man, I, 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 what, I really, what I really like about this game is they don't use big ass numbers, which is something else I appreciate Pokemon does, keeps it simple. Yeah. Like why, why have a Pokemon that has 10 billion HP when you can just say, I have 100? Yeah, it's like 10 billion HP and attacks that do like 1 million each hit, it's just like, what's the point of the big numbers? <laughs> All these zeros are because just taking up a little ass. Because it's screen. fun, god damn it. <laughs> Every, everybody loves big numbers. Yeah, I, I really don't understand the fascination with that. It's just whatever. Yeah, especially Maple Story nowadays. It's like, if you're not doing at least 250,000 damage per hit on enemies, you're just wasting your time. <laughs> Dude, it's not even per hit. It's like per aura. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, be glad you never got addicted to Maple Story. Or if you ever even I played never it. I never get addicted to MMOs in general because I find them boring. <laughs> I only, honestly, I, I played MapleStory at the start back when I was like maybe like uh, 16, 17 years old when I first played it. Yeah, you told you me say... all about that and how you spent like four years of your life playing it and uh, almost uh, failed high school because of it. <laughs> I didn't almost fail high school, but I was just like, eh. Nothing else matters. Well, not like that, but pretty much, like, for the first two years I played it, I was pretty damn addicted to it, and I never really stopped playing it. But then eventually, it was like, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of waning off of it. Speaking of which, I miss Ark. Oh, god damn it. Oh, yeah. I kind of miss Arc it, too. <laughs> I miss it, too, Teets. I miss the Ark Arcs. <laughs> A-A-R-D-V-A-R-K. A-A-R-D-V-A-R-K. <laughs> Well, here's the thing about, um, I'm going to play Dante's Inferno while you do this, because, yeah. I, I Actually, this game I've been meaning to play since forever, even though it's, like, got to work hard. But I just want to expand on what... <laughs> okay! <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, she's cancelling. And she's cancelling out Star with Fallen Star. Okay, fuck you. I'm a, I'm a bit surprised on how you phrase it, Sire, that you, you don't like MMOs because it's the same thing over and over, but, I mean... This is just me saying it because it's like, isn't that what Nintendo is too? But then it's just then again, it's just a nope. from there. So, while I'm surprised, though, I'm I still understand. You can say the concept is the same thing over and over again, but the game itself is not literally the exact same game over and over again. And the game actually ends; it doesn't just keep going indefinitely. But. It's still that's the big problem. That's the You're biggest real, problem I have with with MMOs is that they don't stop, and I get bored with them really easily because it's like I don't want to just keep doing this over and over again when nothing's gonna change. <laughs> well, MMOs not so much as a Actually, game; it's more of a social con con uh, conundrum or phenomena. But pretty, it's well, pretty much for the social interaction, kind of. Wait, what was that? Tip? Uh, it it's kind of like for the social interaction. It's like you play with other people. That's like the draw of it. It's like with an RPG, it's practically yeah. for the most part single player. But with MMOs, it's like you're playing with other people. You're leveling with other people. You're uh, doing quests with other people. 
That's Man, you're cyber sexing with other people. I know. <laughs> oh damn it! That's right. I went there. <laughs> you sick bastard. <laughs> Hey, we've all done it at least twice, maybe four times. <laughs> In fact, that was just my that was my record today. <laughs> well, I'm this no, desperate. But, um... <laughs> yeah, you yeah, you're getting I don't know how you're losing to her. You beat her so soon. I know, she just got me a little off guard. <laughs> well <laughs> see, I don't know, I mean like literally I I guess I'm really jaded because I really am with Nintendo games. I'm done with it, and I guess the only reason I'm looking forward to uh, Metroid and Star Fox games is because that's my formula, which is why people keep playing Zelda games. That's just their formula. May I ask what what happened with you to make you hate Nintendo so much? <laughs> well, not necessarily hate. I say I hated it. Well, not well. Hate hates a strong word, but what happened with them to make you just not trust them anymore? <laughs> I guess what you mean is jaded. A little bit. Jaded. Uh, well, I mean, it means the same thing. Like, well, I mean, you know for a fact that Ocarina Time never died. Yeah. In the Zelda series, ever. Rather, it it set the bar way higher than uh, the Nintendo would have liked. If, it, I mean, like, it's like Resident Evil Four, but it didn't die. At least when Capcom tried new different games, they tried new different things by keeping it the same as Resident Evil. It's like Resident Evil. No, they still. It's, it's, you're comparing Nintendo with. You're comparing Nintendo to Capcom, a company that is notorious for keeping dead franchises alive longer than they need to be. And then keeping the other ones dead, no matter no matter what the fan backlash is. Here, here's the thing about Whoa. Capcom. All Capcom is now, you're going to hate me for this, but all Capcom is now is Resident Evil and Street Fighter. That's it. They have nothing else. Well, they have plenty of other well, things, but they don't care about anything other than those two franchises. <laughs> well, I, don't, they don't. I really can't say. <laughs> it has nothing to do with Mega Man either. It's, it's, it's just fact. They only seem to care about Street Fighter and Resident Evil. That took longer than I wanted it to. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, skipping this. Well, skip. going back. You on can the, call uh, me going back on the Nintendo thing. It's uh, you can call me much jaded about being... Capcom all you want, but you... <laughs> sorry, uh, never did to begin with. But okay, um, I'm just saying <laughs> that like I agree that most Metro games are the same thing over and over, which is fine with me, but. The fact is that they don't get released that often, and when they do, it's it's a little bit different. But even then, it's still the same thing over and over. That, which is why I like their 2D format. There was just something quick and small. And then when Prime came out, I was like, okay, it's fun, but eh, it's not my thing. But anyways, what I'm trying to ultimately get at is that if I play, I played once I played um Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask. Once I played Majora's Mask, I was like, wait a minute, I play the same game again. <laughs> it's an expansion pack. But well, that, that, that just happened with every, every, especially every. Though. Yeah, I was. But you know, I was like, what? When, when did Orkia I was like eight years old or something. Yeah, I think. I'm but, saying, but what I'm trying to say is that I understand that, what you're you saying, know, I, but I'll use a better. Example. I I understand what you're saying, but I'll use a better example. Going from Ocarina a better example of time that to, to Twilight Princess. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's. Every other game is actually... I'll agree with you. Twilight Princess is just Ocarina of Time again. <laughs> well, what I what I'm trying to get is that like Nintendo's playing it has never stopped. They always play it safe, and they do it well with because their gimmicks and everything else is nice and all. But it's like, man, I would just I don't know. I I agree with most people I've been listening to. They should let other. Um, companies touch their IPs just for like a little bit at the least. I mean, people are gonna be saying like, "Well, this is what this is what happens when Nintendo lets you know someone else touch their games." Uh, henceforth, uh, Star Fox Adventures and uh, uh, Metro and other M. I'm like, well, I don't think Team Ninja try to shove down the story as much as Nintendo did, but I could be wrong. I'm not really sure about that one. 
And as far as Star Fox Adventures goes, I thought that wasn't that bad. It's just people just were so already drawn into like, hey, you know, Star Fox has to be a shooter and all that stuff. I'm like, well, no, it doesn't. Yeah, that, I mean, I was about to say it would be great if Link like change. People, people don't like massive change. They're like they want, they want to see the same thing over and over. That's the that's the problem with quote unquote fanboys. They bitch about the fact that Nintendo repeats the same thing all over and over again. And the very second Nintendo stops doing that, they're gonna go, why didn't they just do the same thing they did last time? This is bullshit. <laughs> yeah, you know people are gonna do that. Fan, general. A somewhat good example would probably be uh, Kirby's Return to Dreamland because like. When Kirby's Epic Yarn was announced, I think I remember a lot of people saying, Why does it look so freaking kitty, man? Go back to, like, the old, like, Kirby style where you copy enemy abilities and all that whatnot. But then when they announced Kirby's Return to Dreamland, it's like, Oh, man, it's the same thing that we've gotten before. Why don't you try something new? Like, with Kirby's Epic Yarn, it's like, What? That's why I liked Other M. It was actually a different Metroid game. It was third person. It was like it was like Prime. It was something different, and the only thing that made it suffer mostly was the story, and that's about it. Like they like oh yeah, and the direction, Sands, but yeah, like you're ruined Sands, but like, you know it's a new direction. This is the reason why I like playing um Dark Siders over Legend of Zelda. It's a darker Legend of Zelda because well that's essentially what it is. Darker. There's more action to it. There's more to the combat, especially Dark Siders too. Thing though, that a lot of people think that Other M killed the Metroid franchise. <laughs> Well, considering yeah, there hasn't so been a new Metroid game since, that's a lot of... so drastically different from Prime 3 that it should've, they should have just made a Metroid Prime 4 because why try something different? <laughs> yeah, I think I remember it's Opaque... Something different I remember Opaque game. mentioning about, like, what they could... Like, back in his Metroid Fusion Let's Play, like, he mentioned, like, some suggestions on how they could continue the Metroid franchise if they ever go back to it. I went pretty extensive on that one. <laughs> yeah. But like, I mean, I really am a huge Metroid fan. But like, I'm I'm down for them to try to do different things. It's just Zelda. Zelda never did it. And Mario, all all Mario does is that like add a new suit or a different gimmick. Like Mario Sunshine had flood. That's it. Galaxy had well, to, to fucking give transporting yourself to galaxy. In in new in, NSMB. In Mario's defense, you can't really change a platformer too much. Well, here, here's the thing what I'm trying to get at is like, they put him in RPGs and it worked well. But then he got into the Mario Luigi uh, collection and that's all there is. Bowser's a stupid idiot. You got a new enemy, Bowser still comes out in the end and he's still relevant. Well, with the Mario and so Luigi series, point. like, he actually, in, like, uh, in Dream Team, he actually steps it up a notch. He actually becomes more competent. Okay, I, I get what you're, and I get what you're saying. I, I get what you're saying. Maybe it's more noticeable with Nintendo and Capcom, but I mean every company kind of overuses the same thing. Don't grab it, Trapezi, you son of a bitch! Damn right. <laughs> <laughs> I think the problem is not so much as the. Uh... You'll see what I mean right now. Like if you, I get what you're saying, like you don't like when they reuse the same theme too many times, but. Every game, every video game, reuses themes over and over again. It's just some are more noticeable to you than others. Yeah, I mean, I agree. I mean, like, it, it's just there. But the problem is that it's not so much as the um, the developer's fault. It's just the, how the industry is. It's very... It just grabs them by the balls, dude. It's like, why play? Why play? Why take risk when you can just play safe and still make a bunch of money? Hence, all these franchises like Gears of War, Call of Duty, Devil May Cry. You got Capcom who knows how to milk their stuff right, but they're still dying slowly. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Donkey Kong agrees. Donkey Kong's head. My phone's like, shit. okay, I get it. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> But I what's like a, it when companies ironic, take risks. Though, what's ironic though is that Capcom reuses the same thing over and over again and they're getting in a whole bunch of hot water, but you're making this claim that Nintendo's doing it the exact same thing, yet they're perfectly fine in in a sense. Which Sorry, confuses yeah, me because if, that. because if people are complain because if people are pissed that Capcom doesn't take risks and repeats the same thing over and over again, and yet they're okay with Nintendo doing it, 
why are they complaining that Capcom's repeating the same thing over and over again? <laughs> You're asking three different questions, and before I go on to that, the nuclear fame says, I don't remember <laughs> Kirby ever not Kitty, other than some true final boss. I'm like, well, I never thought Kitty, uh, Kirby was Kitty. It was just, you know, it was just lighthearted in its own world. Man, I am abusing these really golden glimpses. I'm surprised you're getting that much, to be honest. Honestly, all you have to do when she starts doing Annihilation, you just have to set everyone to all-out defense. Once everyone defends, you, I guess it's an automatic Golden Glim. Yeah, Cur Kirby is yeah. this yeah. franchise that's going to be the same thing, and everyone's going to love it because Kirby. Because Kirby's awesome. <laughs> it's simple, yet awesome, like over-the-top awesome, in a way. Yeah, you know yet the thing is, Mario is the crystal shark. the same time. Yet Mario's just as simple, and people are saying that Mario is oversaturated and stuff. When other say other other game franchises from other companies do the same thing. Hey, look, we're finally back like to the Halo. Zodiac. <laughs> I, I, like Halo. Okay, well, since since we're gonna get back on that, I already explained that as like companies might as well just play it safe. They don't need to when they can just make so much money just by doing the same thing over and over. Hence why you have so many like Except rehashes such as Call of Duty series, Ge Gears of War, uh, you just said Halo, so there's that too. It's mostly first person because it's the first person generation, but Nintendo's been guilty of it like since forever as well as Sega's, but that's because that's what they do. But the thing is that we're at the time and point where it's like, well, you know, while it's still relevant to, um, I guess, well, I say, well, it's just great for like a new audience. It's like you still got to appeal to the old audience. And Nintendo was experimenting for a while with Square and Rare, with you know them, their, their, them using their IP. You saw what Rare did with Donkey Kong. They stopped after three, and they made DK64, and that was a great game. But it was eh. Much well, well, the I mean, problem is that well, the problem is that Rare got bought by Microsoft. That wasn't Nintendo's fault. It just kind of happened. Well. I mean, that goes without question. Cause that's you can, you can up, make but... the argument that Nintendo could have bought them back, but you can't blame Nintendo for another company buying a set, buying a third party. <laughs> Granted, it's not, like, sorry, it's it's not it like Rare was contracted to always work with Nintendo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm just saying that, like, I agree. It's just that's why I didn't bring it up. That's kind of self-explanatory. What I'm just trying to say is that people play safe now and they don't try to do things with their IP anymore. Um, I mean, Brawl is a great, you know, thing they did with it. It's like, it's fun. I mean, I can see Mario being melee, but like, that's not his image anymore. And like you said, Nintendo will complain. The people from Nintendo will complain about it. People are just afraid of change, you know, at this point, which sucks because that's how the video game industry is not going to be changing. Yeah, I mean, the, I mean that's, 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 has a that's another fight reason style why. than most games. And that's also another reason why you, you do have a point that Nintendo doesn't really like to try risky things anymore because Nintendo has like f five or six other IPs that they haven't touched in over like 10 years. Because like, oh, nobody likes Star Fox after Star Fox 64. Let's just stop making Star Fox. Nobody likes F-Zero after F-Zero GX. Let's just stop making F-Zero all entirely. Like, no. You don't just stop making a game guess... after one year of it not selling. No, I'm I stunned. Mario being a brawler type esque uh, video game, like not like Devil May Cry, God of War, or whatever, like that stuff, but like kind of like I guess not so much as God Hand or something, more like uh, I guess Final Fight in a sense. Mm. But I mean, I can see that happening. It's just that they're not like uh, Guacamelee. Guacamelee is actually pretty fun as far as its game goes. You know, the mechanics are pretty simple, and you know anyone can pick up and play that. And there's also like uh, a setting where you, not a setting, but you can actually play that game where it can be a little bit difficult if you want it to be just by mixing up combos or grab chains, you know. That, that's just great. It's like, and then Castlevania, like, at least they changed their formula. At least they're doing something, even if it is copying someone else, but they um, still do some different and things. Nintendo it's, has yeah. learned that they can't just keep using Mario as well. I mean, they... They did make Xenoblade a few years back, and they're making X. Well, and... that's not just Nintendo. That's Monolith Soft. But still, I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah Since... but they're letting other companies make things for their systems now. They're not just relying on their own IPs. 
Yeah, I mean, look at Platinum with Bayonetta 2. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> we're getting that eventually, damn it. I know we are getting that eventually, but nobody likes that we're getting it only on Wii U. Or I like it. I don't mind it. I have a Wii U, so it doesn't matter to me. Yeah, bad people. Mind. I don't want to exactly. I don't want to have to buy a fucking Wii U to play a game that should be on everything other than Wii U because Nintendo doesn't deserve it. Like, sure. No, actually, it's like I don't want to spend three hundred and fifty dollars to buy. Oh no! Wait, wait, wait. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Yeah, Look. sorry, sorry, sorry. It's like. Like, I don't want to spend $300 on a Wii U to spend $60 to buy Bayonetta 2. I want to spend $500 to buy an Xbox One to, to spend $60 on Bayonetta 2. Or $400 for a PS4 to buy P $60 P Bayonetta 2. Basically, that's people... exactly why I... See, and that's why I still don't have Grace's F for Vizilia. Because I wasn't just going to go out and buy a PS3 and buy two $60 games that I was only going to play for two hours and then never play again. <laughs> but now that there's more than it's just two games on PS3 now. that I want to play... <laughs> what happened? I love how you're staying healthy now. <laughs> I'm trying to stay healthy. You're using Ward once in a while. Don't forget to use Ward, motherfucker. Oh, yeah, I should probably... But, um... Also, Nuclear Flame, Kirby's always been a, a kitty game aside from the final boss. <laughs> And by kitty, we mean it's more just, more just like, the, the game's not about the whole doom and gloom thing. It's just like bright colors, cheery music and stuff, and everything's all happy. I mean, everything's smiling even when you're eating it. <laughs> now that you think, now that I think about it, yeah, that's very morbid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what it's just. like. It, it, Kirby has its own world. It's like. It it would be weird to see um I don't know I mean I guess Duke Nukem being in a world like uh Donkey Kong Country you know Duke Nukem and Kirby like what the fuck is this bullshit? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well I mean if you think about it Duke Nukem's first game was you know kind of childish too in a way. Damn it Esther, you had one job but, to not die. You remember the game? <laughs> it was fun. But tits, tits. About your Bayonetta thing, it's like, you know what, I, I don't blame them for them not making it a Wii exclusive because, like, for one, the company knows it's not going to be making a lot of money, which is why Rayman Legends stopped doing, didn't do that. And two, well, I mean, I love the Wii U and everything, and I wish I had one, but the general census does not want to, uh, damn it, you know, just be forced to use the Wii gamepad. They're comfortable with their DS3 and their 360 controller. If the like I told sorry before the Wii be actually came to use with a the... <laughs> they don't want if, to be forced the Wii... to use a peripheral they'll just use their Kinect. Oh wait, they're not forced to use Kinect either. It comes with it, but you're not forced to use it. That's what kind the, of the developers it have a Wii. It's not. It's it's, it's a feature. Connect, but it... I have nothing against the Kinect, but there's no denying that Microsoft is kind of throwing it down our throats. Like, look at this peripheral we have. You will buy it, and you will love it. <laughs> I agree, dude. But look, we can like have motion control. That... Look, we can have motion control too. It's nowhere near as good as the Wii U, as the Wii or the Wii U. But fuck it, it's motion control. <laughs> You'll never use it, but it's there in case you want to. <laughs> I agree, dude. But what I'm just what I'm trying to say is that the Wii is forcing you to use their peripheral and not giving you an option on like the connect yeah That's connect the on the 360 like... yeah i mean like don't get me wrong if that wii u came with another controller like a gamecube controller that was wireless that would have been just sufficient enough on its own the gamecube controller has enough buttons to sustain it you could add another z button if you wanted to or a c button yeah, Wait. i know what you're saying i get uh, what you're saying whatever. They shouldn't have relied like, on the gimmick of a touchscreen controller. <laughs> it's not even it's not even just the the, the 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 buyers, it's also the developers like dude, this would get we can make this game so awesome or we can have it work on the Wii U, but we have to incorporate the the green screen or else people are gonna call us lazy because we didn't use the game screen. And if we do, that's gonna cost us time, which is gonna cost us money, which is gonna cost us jobs, which is gonna cost us sales that we could have just made focusing on the PS3. Fuck it, we're gonna focus on the PS3 and X three sixty. Or uh, Xbox and PS I know PlayStation, and that's 
I get what you're saying. That's, and that's what sucks, because the Wii U is just as strong as the other consoles. The problem is the developers are, you know, forced, as well as the consumers, to use the Wii U gamepad. Oh, damn it, I'm asleep. And I know what you're saying. Defend, 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 defend! <laughs> I know there you go, you you're fine. To use the Wii U game. No, I'm not fine. But that shit is huge. It's light, but it's huge. And it's inconvenient. Oh, thank God everyone survived. It's and Tidy Tears, thank you, Drippy, for once that actually came into use. <laughs> at least it's. At least we can all agree it's still more comfortable than the original Xbox controller. Man, that's not fair. That's like saying the N64 <laughs> controller wasn't ever comfortable either. Admit it. When you first got the N64 controller, no, like, no, uh, this no. is kind of the weird. Xbox, but the original Xbox controller is the absolute worst controller that's ever been made. I'm sorry. You need to use the more Genesis controllers. Brick. Even the Genesis controller the at least felt comfortable to hold. No, no, no. The Saturn one? The Saturn one was horrible. That thing was huge. Man, it's, been, Dreamcast for, one, as, man, it's I, been forever since I played a Sega Saturn. In fact, I don't even think I ever played Dreamcast anything on the Sega kind of Saturn. Dreamcast, I remember. Mm, I never, like, played... I never played uh, Sega games other than Dreamcast. But the Dreamcast controller was pretty big, too, but... It did a lot of yeah, things. Yeah, the Dreamcast controller. And it wasn't that bad. The Dreamcast controller was about the size of a. Hmm. I'm trying to remember. This is a... the I reason why the Super either. Nintendo <laughs> and the PlayStation had great controllers is because it had an easy grip and the bug the buttons were there and there was enough buttons. The Xbox tried to add the white and black controller and it had to be bulky because it Microsoft isn't good with hardware as it is software, but eventually. People got used to that big bulk, but then in the later models they fixed that. And to be to be fair, the N64, you know, I remember it being pretty weird in my hands when I was like six or seven. Wait, yeah, six or seven. But I got used to it after like a few, after a lot of, after playing for a while. It's just the thing, you know, you, yeah. you get it used to it eventually. You can't say it's a bad controller. Right. You can only say it's a bad controller if it's really bad. That's where the Wii U comes along. It's trying to be two things at once which is great it works on the ds fine because the ds is tiny and it's foldable and every and people developers know they can they're gonna have to incorporate the touchscreen on that unless it's an rpg and that's why the ds is, is so fucking great it everyone who develops that knows how to use the touch capabilities and they work around that but when it comes to the consoles they're not focusing on that they're focusing on console big console games not portable small games and you have that big touch right, screen, which has so many, it has so many, you know, capabilities, but developers, you like, you, you agreed on, they don't want to take the risk and the time and the money when they could just save all of that resource and make more profit just by, you know, sticking to Sony and uh, Microsoft. Yeah, I, I get what you're saying. <laughs> Damn it, Donkey Kong! Tits, you almost got him! It keeps using chaos and these freaking things and the whatnots and the yes. I'm not getting the chance to attack. I'm mostly trying to defend. You're actually doing pretty well, dude. I mean, whatever you're doing, just keep ward up and defend uh, with chaos. Uh, oh, God, nuclear flame, no. Chaos. This, no, nuclear flame, this is much. This is at least more tolerable than Final Fantasy X. <laughs> I play 10. I have the 10 HD collection. I'm gonna be playing that as soon as I finish Dante's Inferno and Drake's Fortune, um, Uncharted. Sorry, but because I I, just, I need to finish 10. I stopped. I did. I busted a tit. I stopped right in the, before the final boss battle, but I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> you busted a tits. <laughs> that didn't even no, sound they, right. They've only they were only building up the giant freaking killer whale know, boss Dante. the entire game. <laughs> you busted a tit, teats. Actually, he looked like a giant germ. <laughs> he was fierce. Sin's it's a giant freaking space whale. Sin's a giant freaking space whale. <laughs> yeah, good chance. Um, that's a, that was actually uh, <laughs> Final Fantasy's four ship, <laughs> <laughs> the lunar whale. I know, but Sin is a giant killer space whale. <laughs> <laughs> 
Kind of like that giant killer space, space whale drama. in Futurama. In space. <laughs> Um, giant killer Sids, I think space whale in Futurama. Oh God! Sids, I think you got this uh, wrapped up. Hopefully, if she doesn't keep busting out chaos and then fucking piercing this gaze and all that been bullshit. Going on for over like twenty minutes. Jesus Christ! This fight's been going on for like twenty minutes. These freaking satellites are pretty annoying this too. Is how I her. Yeah, this is how I fought her. I told you it was tough. I used a lot of healing on my healing items. Because of those satellites, and I think I got it. And you were saying, I think I got it. And yep, you said, shit Yep. Was hard. <laughs> he was. <laughs> Man, this boss freaks me right the fuck out. I believe you. Nito, indeed. <laughs> Freaking Oliver. <laughs> I know. He's like, dude. Just wait till you see the ending of the hat, the whole game. You're gonna be like, really, like that. <laughs> oh man if you guys are no, if you guys are seeing the experience right now and no i am not even going to freaking bother that is just a dead horse that is just a dead fucking horse anyway that's like a third of a to call to go call to call oh dear all right I have to admit it though, as as the ending goes, Oliver does stick to character, considering even though what they all went through. <laughs> I just like how yeah, every yeah. boss that I fought, Shadar, and even this one, he ends it Nito. <laughs> I'm like, what the <laughs> fuck, <laughs> Oliver? <laughs> well, that's what happens when you only have one or two victory quotes. <laughs> I know, but still, it's freaking hilarious. I'm like, damn it, Oliver, you couldn't have had at least one unique. <laughs> End battle code for this kind of what the fuck? Never. I kind of want tales of um, anything in the future to have air combos, or at least air combo arts chain. I guess kind of like a similar to of like, I guess I want to say a homing attack. Like if you hit an ability in the air, you can do. The Symphony of Two and Vesper have that. Alright, because I know one of the DS yeah. games has that too. I think it's Hearts or Innocence. I forget which one. I wouldn't know. I never it's played a DS, the DS games. <laughs> I know they have that. It's <laughs> Flowers! They can incorporate so many things like Star Ocean did. Star Ocean changed. Honestly though, uh, Queen Cassiopeia, I'm just like cock. A little, a little cock. God damn it, dude. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> nah, I still prefer, well, I only prefer DSL for the DSL. <laughs> <laughs> but Nuclear Frame is like, uh, he's more concerned about spoilers, if he's spoiling it for us, but I don't think Tits cares about Final Fantasy X and Sire doesn't care either. <laughs> honestly, I've only yeah. seen like the little, I've only, the only thing I've honestly seen of Final Fantasy X is of... Uh, like, the last few parts of Nintendo Capri Sun's Let's Play of it, and even then, I'm like, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen Final Fantasy X. You know what? It probably would have been fine if they didn't force you to play Blitzball. Goddamn, Blitzball sucks. And that's the end of it. All right. All right, two things on that. One, Blitzball, I love And now Blitzball, we're on the never-ending story, I... Dragon. <laughs> You're a little too heavy there. Yeah! <laughs> we're going down. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yes, Donkey Kong. <laughs> yes. Damn it, Robot Chicken. Nuclear Fame. Nuclear Fame, you're still listening. Um, just. I, I could ask you in chat, but why if I can just do it with my voice? This is where I last left off in um, Final Fantasy X. I was fighting Sin on the ship, and we shot it down. And we had to go inside the sin we shot down because the true core of sin was in there. Was I about to finish that game? Or was there a little bit more? Like, was that the final dungeon as I assume it was? And we're going to find out the answer in a bit. <laughs> 20 seconds from now. <laughs> <laughs> Damn you, lag. Damn you, I say. Honestly, it, it wouldn't be a problem if I had better upload speeds because... Like, the stream, I, it's just dependent on my upload speed, and it's going, like, a little above a megabyte yes. per second. So it's taking a little longer than it should. 
Yeah. There's your I answer. I mean, right I think it would have been... Ah, oh, I knew I was so fucked up. I still <laughs> had the save file, too, but it's not a PS2. <laughs> but, like, I don't, I don't want to buy an adapter just to say, transport my save file to the PS3 to transport, play there. So I'm just going to play the HD remix. I already got that, so... And to so be you're fair, just gonna replay the... honestly, if hmm. if Final Fantasy X was a little, bit, yeah, I'm gonna replay it, but I'm not gonna. I might do random gameplay on that once in a while, because uh, hint hint, uh, Logic's gonna let me use his dazzle for a bit, and I do plan on recording my experience with Kurt when I get to that. Oh God, yeah, you're get, you're probably gonna have an easier time, possibly because you saw me go through it. You're all like, all right, so. I just gotta be really, really defensive with Kurt. <laughs> I don't remember at all, dude, but I am gonna be playing Graces on hard. Oh, yeah, have fun with that. <laughs> Please, <laughs> try to have fun oh, with that. I actually didn't mind Graces. <laughs> if, it wasn't, if it weren't for Asbo, you would have been in... Dude, I praise yeah. Graces for, for its bad system. <laughs> if it wasn't for Asbo, you'd actually enjoy the game. <laughs> yes, Donkey Kong agrees. <laughs> <laughs> it's like if it weren't for Asbel, okay. <laughs> Damn you, Donkey Kong! Because as because okay. as opaque flake has mentioned, fuck Asbel. <laughs> fuck it, go. Fuck Asbel. Nobody cares. And just imagine, oh, just imagine yeah. Asbel Lawn in front of the guy, and he'll just automatically, it's kind of like a reflex, pretty much. Tits. Tits. <laughs> uh, Asbel. Fuck him. Yeah. Asbel, <laughs> 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 right, my mother. Your, your mother. Yeah. Sherry is the equivalent of a wet blanket. <laughs> Actually, uh, as Luigi and Sire and I would put it, it's he's the equivalent of cardboard. Sherry or Asbel? Both. <laughs> oh, I think the only more respectable like, character. That... What? I said that, to me, at least, the only respectable characters in Grace's F would be Malik. And maybe Hubert a little bit, <laughs> and Hubert a little bit. No, at least, he at least he at least tries to be serious, but it's no, it's like the no, overly fuck serious. Hubert. He's a, no fuck Hubert. He's a douchebag, and then even when he knows he's a douchebag, he's still a douchebag. <laughs> he's a realist. Well, <laughs> at least in the in the in the Grace's world, he is. <laughs> yeah, he's a I mean, douchebag. I don't like nobody all. likes him. Not even. He I like how Oliver is riding a fucking broom. Not even his family. <laughs> I like how Oliver's just riding a broom. Yeah, I can ride a broom now. I... It's just like, yeah, I can ride a broom. I can... I don't care. What is this? Did you hear that, dude? What? Like nobody like, likes nobody Hubert. Likes not even his family. I think that's why they put him for adoption. Nobody likes Hubert. Not even his own family. Oh, that's just fucked up. It's true. Like, well, it, like, like eh. I, okay, I'm just gonna speed this up real quick because I don't really want to talk about Grace's F or Tales of in general because that's all we do and I'm just stupid. I just hate it now. I just trounced but, the council. I, I got the council trouncer trophy. Asbo and Sherry hey. suck even you with with the with the future arc. What? Uh, Ashes of Resurrection. Yeah, I don't know why they give you these good spells. That Right after you beat the boss for New Game Plus. Ah! Like new Game Plus. Well, actually, it might be for post-game, too, because I think I've looked up online that there's, like, bosses that you could, like, fight for bounties, and they're practically, uh, yeah. read, like, toughened up versions of bosses you've already fought. But, personally, to me, I'm like, why, 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 why would I want to do that when I could just... You could have just given me a hard mode to begin with. A range of post-completion features will be available for you to enjoy. Yes, I want to make a completed game save. Alright, okay, so here we go. A lot of, Asbo a Sherio, lot of games are shit. Do it would have been awesome if he didn't dwell back on his past so much, which he stopped doing that a little bit later in the end of the game and in the future arc. Richard's pretty awesome now. 
once he got Lando out of him and all that stuff. I honestly think he's pretty cool. Malik's always been cool. Sophie only suffers about from the characters around her, so when she's she's around Sherry, Esbel, and sometimes I want to say Hubert, not Hubert, Pascal. That's when she suffers. Pascal is just the she's pretty much a token. And it. Yeah, that's about. <laughs> what about Emer? Okay, no, no, fuck Emerald. <laughs> the what? <laughs> oh, Emerald. you mean sweet? You mean sweet chess? <laughs> oh yeah. And you will rejoin the action from the point just before the final battle with the White Witch. And, of course, the range of post-completion features will now be available for you to enjoy. New challenges have been added to the Casino and the Solosseum series. New tasks are now available. Did you ever go to the Casino? I've done it once or twice, but I never really, like, used it wow, very much. Wow, All that stuff you just read was... just... All that stuff you just read, Logic, is just now showing up on the stream. <laughs> Yeah, like I was saying, like 10, 20 seconds behind what I see. Skype's not helping either when you do that. Yeah. <laughs> but. I need you, someone you, to see the freaking chat for me. All right, well, I'm uh, going to actually check out those new bounties while I'm here. Um, What was I going to say? I didn't even know there was a casino until I beat the game. I'm like, there was a casino? Yeah, and honestly, I, I kind of found it a little out of place myself because... Like, you know that dungeon you go through when you're, like, in the past? And, like, you're trying to yeah. figure out the whole thing, and then... I'm like... Because once I finally got a powerful enough magic wand, and then I started unlocking those, like, strongly uh, sealed purple chests... Mm -hmm. Like, I went back to that area, and then I, by complete accident, I'm like, Oh, hey, look, there's a casino now. I did too, but I never even ran into it. <laughs> <laughs> so... Here's the thing about RPGs when it comes to New Game Plus and post game. The only thing, the only, the only New Game Plus I ever bought it was, I think it was Chrono Trigger only. Yeah. I think it was Chrono Trigger only. And that was only because in the PlayStation version, there was alternate endings, which on its own, it's, it's its own reward. And New Game Plus does help you speed that up. Yeah, I've done that with, with Chrono Trigger else. on the DS too. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, and the Super Nintendo version. The yeah. Super Nintendo version had alternate endings. Chrono Trigger's always had ten different endings. Yeah, like Super Nintendo version had them, but I think in the PS, uh, the PlayStation re-release and the DS re-release, you could actually note the uh, alternate endings, like because actually keeps tabs on that. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know you could do that because well, I never owned as the Super as Nintendo. I, I would I would have to rent it over yeah. and over. So holy oh, shit! Like, shit. As far as I remember. Chrono Trigger was the first game to have multiple endings. Mm, I think that the I NES games had some. My oh, god, these okay. things give a shit ton of stamps. <laughs> well, you do need to finish cleaning those stamp cards. That's true. You finish with those errands. I know, dude, like, these first three give eight stamps, the next three give ten stamps, and then the next ones don't give any stamps at all. Shit. Tits. Are you a completionist when it comes to RPGs? I am with this game because actually, I honestly feel like this game encourages and like it doesn't like shove it down your throat like, oh look, you you're missing this. <laughs> this actually, the, I feel like this game encourages you to like 100 percent it, not just just for the sake of 100 percent, but just like you get really good rewards out of it. Hmm. Even though you can't really use them, I can understand that. My, my thing about RPGs is I, I don't no, really see no, any reason to keep playing after them after completing the game. It's like you finish what you need to do. Everything else is just extra. But I like Grace's F because you know you're going to get more out of it. and There's more to the story. So there is some reason to keep playing after finishing the initial game because there's another game, which is DLC. But what I'm trying to get to that is there is a reason to get that ultimate weapon because it'll last you for a while. Yeah. Not just for one or two fights. Well, what's worse, having a game that just ends and you can't save after beating the game or having a post game that's <laughs> pointless to play? Yeah, if you're noticing. <laughs> that's because I'm reading it. I'm yeah. all. Damn. So, I, does that mean I cannot use the Ashes of Resurrection spell? Because it's crossed out. I'm like. No, 
No, you can use it. The problem is that it can have side effects, which I think one of them, you can turn one of your characters into a zombie accidentally for that fight. Oh, shit. I'm not exactly sure. But they're just saying it's a forbidden spell, you know? But you can still cast it. You can still cast it, but it has the side effects. Yeah. It's forbidden, so you'll abuse the shit out of it. <laughs> now, nah, well, from what Opaque's telling me, it actually... It's forbidden for the side effects, and that's why you don't want to be using it. So, like he said, like, your characters will come back, but, like, they might come back as zombies, and I'm assuming that's a bad thing. That's what I read, but I haven't really tried it, because I just stopped playing the game after it. I was satisfied with what I got. You know, and I got closure. The rest is just... I'm missing five spells around. from what I'm reading right here. Uh, I just remember... Two of them are... Back, back to the... Back to the end of your Mario RPG LP, and at the very Ranch. end, you're like, God, I hate games that don't let you save after beating the game. <laughs> I do! Shit, man. <laughs> you can at least say, hey, Mr. you're Ryan. not gonna go any further, just reset. <laughs> it was just so random, I didn't expect you to say it. <laughs> Someone had to say it. It's <laughs> it's. One of the spells you're missing, two of them are from Horus, and I think another one is from um, the old man who teaches you alchemy. Oh. Anyway, I think, I think I th that's it for this stream, honestly, because <laughs> we just beat the <laughs> we 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 beat the White Witch. Granted, it took me a, uh, one more try than it should have, but fuck it. Before you end this, actually end the stream, tits. Um, me and Sire are gonna be silent for this. Do you want to give a quick synopsis on what you feel with uh, oh. Kuni was in the long run? Uh, well, even though I was extremely, extremely on and off about it, I feel like it is an RPG worth playing, and it it feels it 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 fe feels feels I don't know. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> feels, man. So you you absolutely. All right, I'll, I'll give mine real quick since I've also played it. I'll just make it qu nice and simple. I got this for 20 bucks. This is worth more than 20 bucks. Not 50, but more than 20. The games, you're actually into drawn into the world. The characters are actually not that bad. The difficulty is actually there considering that your life is also a part of the mana and you have to keep that up. The story and characters are interesting. It's far enough to make you want to keep playing. And the difficulty is not spiky at all. If you do, if you die, it's because you have no, you know, desire to heal yourself in terms of mana or health. Other than that, it's a good purchase for your PlayStation Three. It's a great exclusive. I say pay at least thirty dollars. Twenty bucks. Yeah, it's a, this is like easily a thirty-five, forty dollar game. Why should the price have anything to do with how good the game is? Well, not so much that. It's because like some games. Like, you know how console games cost, like, $60 usually? And then, like, you, some people wait until the price go down because, like, they think... Or rather, they get the notion from other people's, like, Oh, well, I paid 60 bucks for this, but honestly, it's not worth that much, in my opinion. I mean, like, it... Yeah. Kind of like with, kinda like with okay. South Park, The Stick of Truth. Like, how it's on Steam for... How, how it's selling on consoles and on Steam for $60. A lot of people are saying, well... For the length of it, and like considering the the battle system isn't that deep, it is it's there, but it's just like it's still simple even on the harder difficulties. And considering the length of it, it's practically just one long South Park season mashed into a game, which isn't bad at yeah, all. It, it's not bad at all for that, but some people are saying it's not worth paying sixty dollars for it because they paid sixty dollars for like a well. Yeah, they wanted more for $60. I see what you're yeah, saying. pretty much. I mean, personally, I wouldn't be caught dead paying 60 bucks for a Mario game until, like, it was 20 bucks. I wouldn't mind paying 20 bucks for a Mario game. Hey, guys. If I really felt like playing a Mario game. You guys are going to see this in, like, 20 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Just waiting for it. <laughs> <laughs> just waiting for it. Oh yeah, look at all that experience. 
<laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing at this. <laughs> I think it needs to sleep, cause seriously. <laughs> you wasted so much of our time. Damn right. Anyway. I and by calls. wasted so I mean and I mean ten seconds. Oh shit, now I'd look at it. Yeah, I almost have a hundred thousand guilders. Alright, well, I guess with that said, I guess I'll help push for closing off because I kind of do tend to keep tits on longer than you should. <laughs> Thanks for those who are watching Nuclear Fame. Thank you for being an amazing chap and sticking this long. And that's my goodbye. Yeah. Take care, people. I'm going to pick Flake. Signing out. And shits. <laughs> and uh, just as Opaque's Flake said, thank you all for watching my stream. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And hopefully I was entertaining enough. Or hopefully all the three of us in general were entertaining enough for you to for this uh, stream to have been well entertaining blah yeah <laughs> I'm just glad I was able to come in at the very end <laughs> yeah either way if you haven't seen it well this is gonna go up on YouTube if you missed out on like the earlier parts of the stream I'm gonna put them up on YouTube so uh, uh be on the lookout for that and if this is already on YouTube well it's kind of freaking redundant now isn't it yeah. Alright guys. One, two, three. Do 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 do